And now let's work on this kind of comment section with Laravel Livewire. When I type something here and then hit on this add button, I need to add this comment into the comment list we have below. Let's see how we are going to do this. So firstly, this is created with uh, Tailwind CSS and this is all about the stylings and you will get on the GitHub repo, everything is available there. Then what I'm going to do next, uh, first you can see we have this which is actually hard coded here. Isn't it cool? We can get this from the Laravel end and that we can loop over all the comments we have. So I have already created a component called uh, comments by using this uh, command and you already know how to create this and that has created two file which is uh, livewire comments and which on which I have this uh, comment section and associated the livewire comments.php file where we are just returning this uh, blade file which is a component and I have used this inside my welcome.blade just like previously we have Laravel livewire or simply at livewire comments. One more thing if you are on Laravel 7 you can just use this and instead of this you can simply say comments and this is the name of your component and that should go like this. It's not working because now I need to say live wire and it's a live wire component and that's good. Similarly, you can also do here live wire colon scripts. So scripts like this and live wire styles. Very nice. And now everything is working as it was. So let's move everything, the comments on our comments.php component. So let's create a public variable called comments and here inside this, I will add my comments. So this is an array, array of various comments. So first we have the comment body. So body will be the same we have here. So we can copy it from there and paste it then we have created at that goes three minute ago then at last we have the creator or the user who has created so let's say Sarthak and then we can because this is a public variable it is easily available on our live wire component that means the blade so first let's remove everything so here we have and here we have so I have removed everything so name is gone time is gone everything is gone and now I can simply use for each loop and inside that I can say comments as comment and let's close the for each and for each loop then I can in, in the place of name I can say comment and we have a creator and that should go like this. So now we have a Sarthak here then we just need to add one more for comment created at and finally comment body. Very nice we have done that. And now the next task is when I click on this add button, I need to append a new comment into this list of the comments. And because all the comments are coming from the Laravel end, you can see we have this list of the comment. We just need to add one more comment into this array. And that we know because we said we need to click. That means there should be some click event. So wire click and I can say add comment and this comment the add comment is a function or a method on our comment.php component so here anywhere you can create a public function called add comment and here i can simply say this arrow comments then adding a new comment 
and I, for now just I copy everything from there paste it like this call it new one one minute ago and new comment okay so let's try this so when we click on this ad so there is a wire click event that is simply a click event and then that will trigger add comment on component of comments.php file okay let's refresh and click you you can see it's now adding it isn't it cool we can add it at the first so then you just need to say array unshift and in that you can say the array is comments and the data is this one like here in that case we don't need this that's great refresh and now it's adding at the center okay so next what we need we need to add whatever we uh, type here that will go into the comment not the hard-coded thing for now we can assume that there's a logged in user called bitfumes at time is always one minute and let's try this so we need to bind the data of this input field so let's create a new variable and again that should be a public called uh, new comment and this is just a simple variable and we are going to bind this new comment with this input field and wire model is the way to bind it we can say we have a wire model of new comment so every time the value of input field is changed you have a new comment changing and that should reflect here for just now to show you how this is going to work i can just echo out this here just above the input field so refresh it is here and now i can say hi i am new comment you can see it is now echoing out and every time i hit some new keyword here inside this you can see we are calling an ajax request that should be great and next we need to move this comment into the comment list so because now we have the new comment into the new comment uh, variable we can simply push it here on this body part so body is uh, this arrow new comment like this and we can also use carbon here because this is a basically larval so we can use anything here <laughs> so that should be great and then diff for humans cool let's try this refresh it and live wire is really awesome click on add and you can see it is saying one second ago live wire is really awesome and everything is without any refresh because it's doing all the javascript ajax everything by its own next task is we need to clear this one when we add the new uh, comment so it's very easy actually when we have done this we just need to say this uh, new comment is equal to empty that's great and once again live wire is really really awesome and when a smiley for this click and yes it is now empty and you can see we have this and this is super super great thing with the use of level live wire